The presidential election result is out, and once again, apparently, fraud has taken over the process. Popular reaction, however, was quick and could get much worse in the few days to come. Hello, I am Claudio Lessa, bringing you content and perspective from Brasilia, Brazil. Brazilians are in shock tonight as an artificial election result has been published by the people in charge of coordinating the electoral process. Three times convicted criminal Lula da Silva has been declared the winner with a little over 50% of the votes, while incumbent Jair Bolsonaro, the outright favorite, received a tiny bit below 50%. Once again, a computer malware did the dirty work, as it was done in the first round of elections. As you can see, the dotted line shows the linear algorithm steadily reducing the number of votes given to Bolsonaro while increasing the votes given to the so-called unconvicted criminal, while the other one shows a similar behavior in the second round. Lula da Silva was the winner in only one of the five Brazilian regions, but even then was quickly declared the winner. One curious footnote on this so-called victory. On Thursday, October 27, O Globo newspaper published the election results and then quickly deleted it, saying it was uh, just a test. But the numbers and results exhibited were practically the same published on Sunday, October the 30th. President Jair Bolsonaro has not given a concession a speech and remains inside the Alvorada Palace, apparently refusing to even talk to political allies. In the meantime, truck drivers all over Brazil have decided to paralyze the country after having warned a few weeks ago they would do so if a clearly fraudulent election would result in the unconvicted criminal winning the presidential race, allowing him to go back to the crime scene, as pointed out by his current vice presidential running mate when they were adversaries in the past. BR-163 in the state of Mato Grosso has been already shut by trucks. This guy, one of the 256 united leaders of the striking truck drivers, says that the roads in the whole country are being shut for 72 hours until the armed forces take control of Brazil. He mentioned the state of Santa Catarina, Sao Paulo, Paraná, Rio de Janeiro, Minas Gerais, besides Bahia and Pernambuco, and the rest of the Northeast region. He also said that no politician will be able to make them clear the roads, because now it's the truckers and their families' future at stake. The roads will be cleared only when the armed forces take over the country. It seems that now President Jair Bolsonaro and the armed forces are fully equipped with elements to prove electoral fraud. The people on the other side performed as required, overwhelmingly choosing number 22 on the voting machines. New developments on this ongoing issue are surely expected. Reporting from Brasilia, Brazil, I am Claudio Lessa. Thanks for watching.